is a little explanation of how to make error bars appear on column graphs using Google Sheets. And it's designed for all of us who have been struggling with the default settings of error bars. It ends up looking like what you see here, where you have all the same column color and all the same error bars and you cannot separate your error bars into different error bars like you want to right here. So this is an example of what I'm going to show you how to do where you get separate values for error bars. It starts off of course with a sheet and what I have here is a, some sample data. Here are the data labels um, favorite animals, and then the number that represents the mean that I want to graph. Down below are standard errors that I'd like to chart for each of these different items. What you do not do is highlight only your data that you want to graph. You have to think of what would you label all of these data items as, and how would you put that on the horizontal axis as a label, as a general title. So for example, these are animals, so I put types of animals on the left. Click that cell, highlight down below it in the blank field and all the way across to your data. And you'll see why in a second. It's kind of a strange trick, but this works. So that all is highlighted, and now you go to Insert, Chart, and we're going to insert a column graph here. and we're going to do something kind of special. You click the column graph, but now you have to go to chart types. Chart types, which is in the center here, and head over to where it says switch rows columns and check that box, or uncheck it rather. When you uncheck it, you will suddenly see your columns change different colors, and now you have the capability of adding their own distinct error bar for each column. I'm con keeping checked use a certain row as headers. That way over on the far right I can see uh, the labels kittens, puppies, geese, etc. Now I go over to the customization tab on the upper right and as you know you can scroll down or maybe you don't know but anyway you can scroll down and you can change the title of the graph, you can change the horizontal axes, labels here, axis, horizontal, etc. But here's the critical thing, series, all columns. If you check that, now you have different columns that you can insert different error bars for. So now I've got the kittens, I'm going to insert instead of error bars none, I'm going to put constant and I'll put in whatever error bar I want for kittens, Let's say it was one, press enter or return, and now I can see the error bar showing up on my graph, and then I can scroll down on uh, the series data to the next column, puppies, and I can add an error bar that's constant again, and pick whichever error I need to add for that one, let's say it was 0.5, and press return and you'll see that it's a different value than the first columns error bar and you just continue on like this. So it's the critical part of it is over in chart types doing that switch rows and headers and you'll find that if you don't, um, let me go back here, if you, I'm canceling it, if you don't add this first column of data which is not real data that you have, it's just a label. If you don't do that, when you switch rows and columns, you'll end up with one column missing. And that's the little trick there. So I hope that was helpful, and good luck!